remember if one of the questions that uh, Mithika was asked by Andrew was whether he was married to any other woman. And Mithika himself said he was not married to any other woman and even produced a document showing uh, Andrew that that is um, a judgment of a marriage, that this marriage that he had was already, he had already divorced. Your father Andrew posed the question whether he has capacity to marry. Yes. <clears throat> and whether he has any other wife and it is your evidence that he confirmed he had no any other wife. Yes. And you have told this court that he showed to Andrew a document which you call what? A judgment. A judgment. What was the judgment about? We don't know because don't. Andrew looked at the document, then showed all of us. He said, he says he has to go, he has no other way. Thank you. He's ready. <coughs> was this document left to you or to Andrew? It was given back to the people in The document was handed over back to the people in Nigeria. What next happened? Then after that, um, Andrew, the, the old man, one of the old men, described the process of uh, a dower negotiation. Now that it has been confirmed, they, they first asked him about his clan lineage, and uh, my uncle also mentioned clan my lineage. And after that, the, one of the old men explained the whole marriage ceremony traditionally as per the Paladin custom or the Nandi customary customs, what usually happens. And after that explanation, then okay. Mithika and his people are coming from which subtribe? They are coming from the Igembe subtribe. So you, your people are from? Nandi. Why was this Nandi elder explaining to them the customs and practices of the Nandi marriage. Because I was going to be given away, or I was being given away based uh, on the customary, on the Nandi customary traditions. So the marriage ceremony was to be conducted under the Nandi customary marriage. Kindly confirm that that was put across to them. Yes, it was. What was their reaction? Um, they had no objection. The only thing they mentioned is that from their Igembe subtribe of Meru, they also perform a particular ceremony after the marriage has been confirmed, and that is the exchange of uh, <coughs> Mira. So when my parents or when my relatives were told about that particular ceremony, they said that that is in order, except that it will not be carried out inside the room, because inside the room was going to be the Nandi customary marriage. All right. They will do that. Sure. Okay. After they were explained the Nandi customary practices of marriage, you confirm that they also say they have their own Igembe customary practices. Yes. And that is what you have told the court. What is that customary practice? Um, the exchange of a mirror. Exchange of mirror. Yeah, where the man who is married gives the lady the mirror, and the lady will give that mirror to the parents. Then the parents now distribute. No, she'll pick a piece and then give the mirror to the parents, who then will give the rest of the crowd. Who gave this male Igembe customary practice? Rufus Mility. Rufus Mility. Yeah. 
sorry, I'm not sure whether it was Rufus Nditi or Henry Tongai, one of the two. One of the two. Yeah. You are not sure. I can't remember who it was. One of the one two of the gave two. those yes. that customer in fact. Yes. How was it resolved? So it was resolved that inside the room, uh, the rights or the 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 the, the, the the marriage that will be used is a Nandi customary marriage because they have come to Nandi, they have come to our customary marriages and after we are done and uh, the daughter is handed over to you, we will then go outside where the rest of the crowd are waiting and outside in the crowd then you will now carry your customary uh, tradition which is to hand over the mirror. And that is how it was resolved. So the Nandi culture became the dominant culture. Yes. Thank you. Did they agree to that? Yes, they did. But what then happened? So um, the old, uh, after they, they agreed, they were taken through, they agreed, they were then asked for the cows, because in the Nandi customary law, it's about cows. They were asked for the cows in the order in which they are usually given. Um, I can't recollect them very well, but they were asked for the cows which they gave in common money. So, the customary marriage you are talking about, the Nandi, yes. there is what is called cows. Yes. What is this cow? Um, uh, the cows are an exchange of dowry. They are dowry. They are dowry. How many cows were they asked to pay as dowry? I can't uh, quite recall, but um, they should have been about six. Oh, I don't remember. The, the, the big men are coming. Yeah, they will, the guys they will give the share. explanations, yes. So dowry was agreed? Yes. And after the dowry was agreed. Um, he gave the money in exchange in instead of the cows. The, the cows were translated into money? Yes. How much money? Now we call it dowry. How much dowry in cash did it I, amount to? I do remember, I think it was about 100,000 Kenya shillings. 100,000 Kenya shillings? Yes. And then after that, uh, the final part of the ceremony was done where Mursi, which is... Uh, we have not reached about Oxford, so. It was only 100,000 shillings or any other? Um, he gave 100,000 shillings. Yes. And also mentioned uh, that he has another gift for my brother, which he was then told for gifts he will give outside, not inside the room. So the dowry was 100,000? Yes. The gifts are at the tent? The tent, yes. We've been with the tent later. Was this 100,000 given in your presence? Yes, it was. Who received this 100,000? Andrew Chipoli. Andrew Chipoli received. To the best of your knowledge, at the time Andrew is receiving these 100,000, was Mithika present? He was the one giving the money. He's the one who gave the money? Yes. Did you see him give the money? Yes, I did. Did you see him give <laughs> Andrew the money? Yes, I did. Was the money disclosed to everybody present? Yes, it was. <clears throat> What happened next? Okay, then after that, um, the elder then confirmed that uh, the marriage has happened, the dowry has been paid, and I can now be called Mithika's wife. And uh, of course, the women did the uh, illumination, and they went to the kitchen to bring music as Mursik is the final sign of the union. And Mursik was now shared across. Right. Awesome. So. After
after the 100,000, you are officially declared the husband and wife. Yes. That's what you want to tell this court. Yes. After the, you being declared husband and wife, women went eulerating and celebrating. Then what happened? Then after that, um, the now and now after they've announced that we are husband and wife, the women went to the kitchen to bring milk. And of course now word went to the people who are in the tent that the union has now been finalized. So the milk that was brought is called what? It's called Mursik. Mursik. Yes. What is Mursik? Mursik is a sour milk made in, um, it's made using the Kalenjin traditions. I am not an expert to talk about yeah, that. I am not asking about the ingredients. Yeah. What is the symbolism of Mursik? The symbolism is um, a union that the union has now been accepted. The Mursik was proud. Yes. What, what, okay. <coughs> so what? What happened after the music? So the music was served to both uh, their party and our, our <coughs> party, as well as to the people who are in the tent, those who could get You are not in the tent? No. You are here in the room? In the room. What happened with the music in the room? So after it served, uh, everybody drank, and uh, it became now in laws talking to each other. And after that, we all walked out to go to the tent. Did you take the music yourself? Yes, I did. Did you see your now husband take the music? Yes, he did. Even though he doesn't like milk, he had to take me too. <laughs> Is it your evidence that the formal meeting ended? Yes. After the music? Yes. What happened after? After that, we went out to the tent, and um, when we went out to the tent, of course, there was music and happiness, and the two are uh, one united So then after that, we had a celebration party, so to speak. Yes. So food was served, because in the Kalenjin tradition, food Just cannot... Just a minute, proceed. Proceed, proceed. 